Slush Puppies Tiny TV. We're at Eva School in Eva. And there's Abe Lincoln. He's somehow correlated to this school. And the sixth graders are practicing a song. And what's that all about? The correlation with Abe Lincoln and Eva School. This is the principal, Stanley Tamashiro. One of our principals, Catherine McIntoshberg, admired Lincoln. So when she died, she left $8,000 for a statue to be built. So in 1944, it was unveiled, and we've had a program every year since then. Wow, look, the, the kids have a, a flag replica right in front or in back of the uh, Abe Lincoln statue. It's beautiful. And you continue to have that tradition. Now, Abe Lincoln was a great president, a great man. Yes, he was. Uh, one of the things that uh, he was, he persevered. And so, like our students, we try to, and like Mr. Lincoln, we try to persevere through any challenges that we face. And that brings us to our Thank You Very Much Award. And he's, well, persevered long too. In fact, hey, um, Scott, Lex Brody, we don't have a statue of him yet, but he's, what, 50 year anniversary coming up, right? Uh, Lex Brody's Tire Company, yes. We make our 50th anniversary this year. What about for our Thank You Very Much Award? Well, Thank You Very Much Award, this is year seven. And this is about our 63rd winner. And our winner today, we're going to be showing here at Eva School, is a student of Judy Takayama. Judy, tell us about your student. Uh, well, Justin is a quiet boy, but he's a really good writer, and his voice comes out in his writing. And actually, I didn't work with him on his writing. It's Mr. Bolo who worked I, with the students on this writing project. So he actually deserves all the credit. Yep. Well, tell us about <laughs> what happened and how did this get going? How did you hear about the uh, contest for Thank You Very Much Award? Um, Santa, well, actually, Sam forwarded the, um, the email to us and then so we, we wanted to like participate in that. So yeah, and this is the letter right here. It's the winning letter right here. There you go. Well, <laughs> instead of making you read it there, Mr. Bolo, we're going to have our winner read it. Is that yes, cool? Yes, 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 yes. All right. And he's very shy, so bear with him. <laughs> this young man who won wrote to his older brother, and we'd like to call him up, but our winner is Justin Peralta. Justin, will you please come up here? Okay, Justin. Come on up here, big guy. Okay, this this big check is is yours to take pictures with, and you guys get your class money. But we're going to ask you to read your letter. Dear Joseph, guess what? I've got chosen to write a thank you letter to a very special person. Let's see if you would be able to tell me who it, this is. This person is very helpful and responsible. He washes dishes, cleans the house, and cooks very good food, especially shrimp omelette. When he does the laundry, he usually hangs them in the clothesline because he always believes in going green. He is such a good son. When his mother goes out to do errands, he tries to do things to surprise her when she comes home. He's the most caring person I've ever met. When his siblings get hurt, he would personally do the first aid. When they are sick, he brings food when they are in bed. When they are sad, he's the only one who could put smiles on their faces because he's such a joker. He's truly a role model. He always encourages them to do good things. He is very smart too. He's a straight A student and in the principal's list. He's also active in youth clubs and believes in being drug free. Every day, I thank God for blessing me with such a special person. Brother, I may not often tell you how grateful I am to have you, but you are that special person in my heart. You've done more than a brother could have ever done. If I were to be reborn, I would love to have you as my brother again. You are the best brother a sibling could have ever wished for. Thank you for all your hard works and sacrifices. I will never forget them and will always love you. Your little bro, Justin. And 
and Joseph, Justin. We're over at the Perry and Price Show, Margaritaville's, where they get a nice brunch for the whole family and your teacher. And oh, what a good brother, I gotta tell you. We gotta interview him. This is Joseph and taking care of his siblings. Now, Joseph, what makes you want to take care of your, your family like this? I just like to see them happy and like follow my footsteps in the future. Oh, that's, that's good. You've been through it before being a little kid, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, uh, do you guys ever fight though? Occasionally, but then it usually gets better and then when we like make up and then everything you know, like, goes happy and... That's yeah. good. Now, there's a little girl there, that's your sister. Uh, do, you, do you take the same amount of time helping her out? Not as much because she usually just um, has her own, own thing to do during the day. Because <laughs> she's a girl and that's your little sister. Do you take care of your little sister, Justin? Yes. You got to be like your brother and, and be nice, right? Yes. <laughs> now, for you to say those words in your letter, I mean, what made you think of all those things, those nice things to say? Because I just have it in my head. That's, that's good when it comes from actually the heart over there, yeah? Now, little sis, did you want to say anything about your two older brothers? Are they nice to you? Yes. And, good. and you got to eat good food this morning, yeah? Yes. <laughs> now, Joseph, the uh, last thing I want to ask you is, you know, the family, they're going to grow up, you guys are going to get older, and you're going to remember this moment. Was it touching for you when, when you read the letter? I didn't actually read the letter. On that day when I went home, he read it to me, and I started breaking to tears. So, wow. yeah. You're, you're making all of us cry on <laughs> Slush Puppy's Tiny TV. So, uh, we'll let you guys go enjoy the rest of your, your breakfast, your brunch here. But I'm going to need some help. I need you to do something for me. You're watching Slush Puppies. Tiny TV. And OZ16.